Hello everybody, welcome to our next tutorial after uh, three and a half year. It's finally here uh, since uh, it's 2022 and our channel called 22 web so it's time for me uh, to create another video tutorial so here we are. Uh, today we're gonna um, uh, style the homepage on the on of PrestaShop 1.7.8 and we're gonna uh, style a uh, top part of this homepage this header with a uh, couple of links and the cart uh, area over here so let's go start it so first of all we uh, we're gonna need to uh, get access to our files of our site website PrestaShop website and in the uh, or either using uh, file manager if it's local or uh, um, FTP manager if it's somewhere on the server so and there you have to go uh, we have to create a custom CSS file uh, so uh, we need to go to themes folder and then uh, here you're gonna have uh, all the list of the uh, themes that installed so right now if it's a new installation uh, it's gonna be classic theme and over here you have to go to the asset mo assets model uh, sorry folder and then open CSS folder and in this folder as you can see there is a lot of uh, fonts uh, file of the fonts and uh, CSS file so uh, here's the main theme CSS file and uh, right now we need to create new file um, let's create and name it custom CSS custom CSS and it exists um, let's change yes and let's open it and so this is gonna be your custom CSS file um, so now we have to um, uh, put there some um, uh, selectors and some properties for each selector so now we have to create selector for that navigational um, for that header so it's gonna be first uh, selector is gonna be uh, nav uh, that uh, header uh, hyphen nav and uh, you know curly brackets for properties so we're gonna do background color um, beige so let's save it and return to a site and refresh it. so we'll see if it works so as you can see it's worked um, so uh, you can uh, it's colored the beige all the background uh, except the cart area so um, for cart area we're going to create another uh, um, another selector it's gonna be nav. I'm sorry. Language nav. Um, row, and then cart block cart block cart and back. And beige, and it's to override other um, uh, colors. That was the same. Um, with the same selector, we have to put important. So let's see if it's work. So return to uh, site refresh, and you, you can see it's worked but um, um, so now we we can style also style middle part just middle part of this uh, header so from contact us uh, link to the card link so in order to do that uh, we again we have to do another selector and this will be sorry, row and it's going to be um, nav navigational and with a class row. So we're going to create background 
and this time we're gonna give a uh, color um, violet violet save it and refresh see what we have so as you can see here is a violet color and uh, so now we have to change um, cart area back to violet to make it make it the same color unless you prefer to do some different color so um, it's up to you um, the refresh so now another thing we can do with this uh, middle part it's to add some um, some shadows so let's uh, go back to our custom CSS file and over here we're gonna put property box shadow and first uh, parameter will be it's a um, um, 10 we're gonna do zero pixels that's how much uh, it's offset by X uh, by X so it's gonna be offset by uh, horizontal and the second parameter will be 10 it's offset by a vertical and blurring will be third parameter and then color of the shadow so let's do brown let's save and refresh we'll see so as you can see now we have small shadow behind um, so we can uh, we can actually so now we can little bit made a little bit gap on the bottom so let's do back again and in the same selector we're gonna add a margin bottom and like five pixels we'll see if this work yeah we added some extra pixels um, uh, so now another step we can do it's to uh, to make some little radius on top on, uh, on the left and the right so for this we need to go back to, again to the same selector and we have to right border radius uh, so it's gonna be starting from the starting from the top left 10 pixels and um, oh no let's do 20 20 pixels, 20 pixels, and then it's gonna be 0, 0. Okay, let's save and let's go back. Here we go. Now we have some radius uh, added to our this middle part. So it's uh, so. What else? What else we can do? We can also change a font. Uh, weight of the font make it more bolder so we can add font weight and we can add bold for example let's refresh so as you can see there's different uh, it's much more thicker uh, letters font so now we can another we can also change font family for example Georgia and we also can font size 18 pixels and let's see let's go refresh see if we change so yeah our font that changed and as you can see it started it became uh, we made it a little bit bigger so and you can uh, you can play with that and how you like it and um, uh, and tweak a little bit uh, uh, so this is main uh, main modification styling of the header um, part of the of, of the home page so uh, let me know if you uh, have any question or would like to know how to change uh, how to style different uh, type uh, parameters of the header uh, and I will try to answer your questions. So um, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, once again, uh, I'm gonna I'm planning to.
uh, create more videos uh, in the near future and uh, uh, with PrestaShop and also planning to uh, talk, also uh, do some um, video about module development so um, let me know if you're interested in this or not uh, thank you for watching and have a good day bye